this very first series of GFM Symposia taking place in India this year. Hosting in Bangalore, uh, in a way, is the, uh, it's the right place as far as uh, fluid mechanics research is concerned. So we do have a large community uh, working in the field of fluid mechanics. So this gives the right platform to bring everybody together and share their experiences and also carry forward their activities in the future. The idea of coming to Bangalore is very much um, to network and we want to network with all of the research institutes and the researchers here who have over 150 um, registrants um, from over 10 institutes in Bangalore. Um, they had a fantastic fluid day yesterday um, with here over 60 posters and lots and lots of um, scientific discussions. And JFM is very pleased to be part of all these celebrations that you're having in Bangalore. So first of all, let's look at some uh, growth in the laboratory. This may look stationary, but look at the side. It's actually solidifying downwards while the whole system is being dragged upwards. My main interest is pattern formation. I'm more interested in patterns. And fluid dynamics is full of patterns. This is the solid particle where the streamlines are quite simple. They're circles but they're not circles here, okay? So it's not the standard boundary layer analysis where you can adopt a usual spherical coordinate system and try to do things. And the fascinating thing about fluid mechanics is that when you apply a force or a pressure at particular angle and point, you can do amazing things in fluid mechanics. This is what making me to learn fluid mechanics. This is why I'm here. So we can see as, the, as you move along the plate, the Reynolds number increases, Reynolds number, and you can see this increasing range of scales. The boundary layer thickness is increasing, and you see this average sort of inclination. Of course, this is just a guide, so it's very difficult to unravel the, uh, what's going on in the flow. Through applied mathematics, I got introduced to fluid mechanics, and I realized that it has tremendous applications in whichever field of engineering you can think of. From a physics background, as to what's going on in turbulence, and so let me acknowledge up front uh, that uh, you sort of involved in what I'm going to talk about are uh, Shay Matravan, who was a student here, Luca, Michele, Julian, Alessandra, Anna, and uh, Tamar Kukachi. So I'm going to cover some of their work and some of my work as well. Uh, Good mechanics is, uh, I mean, so you see, you can feel it anywhere at any time because fluid is air, liquid and whatever, gas and liquid is all things. So eventually one uh, end up with a fluid dynamic problem, essentially in the incompressible equation but with different densities, so you on the unknown side will be on the burn side. Uh, and it's subject to the ranking only of condition across uh, the flame surface, essentially mass and momentum conservation. Yeah, I'm finding it extremely interesting and uh, this symposium has been really engaging and uh, it's expanded my horizons and uh, I'm glad I came.